Eagle Nest Trail, 111. This is Warm Lake Road right here. At best, head back. This is Cascade, Idaho. The elevation in Cascade is between 4,500 and 5,000 feet. The population in Cascade is about 1,000 people. This was in September, and I believe it was between 70 and 75 degrees. This is later in the evening as I'm heading back to the truck. I think on this day I did about 50 miles total. So 25 miles in, 25 miles out. This bike, I mean, you guys notice when I'm riding the CRF 250R four stroke, uh, it sounds like I'm going a lot faster, but uh, because you're using a lot more of the rev range and that bike makes about 38 horsepower. Well, the bike you're seeing in this video makes, well, it's a Husqvarna T250, it's 2018. It makes 53 horsepower, so there's a big difference there. If I'm in the mid range on this bike, um, I'm making the same amount of horsepower as the CRF 250R is at its peak. So mid-range power on this bike, I'm making at least 40 horsepower. So the sound is deceiving. If you're just in the mid-range, you're really pumping out some ponies. And uh, on a tight trail like this, you really don't need a whole lot of power. But this is a great bike. I mean, you can feel everything in the trail on this bike. That 18 inch rear wheel really gives you the ability to change direction easily on the, on the trail. And, um, it, it just has a feel like no other. And the power band on this two stroke is surprisingly linear, like I've said in other videos. So it really allows you to hook up pretty well. Also guys, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, make sure you do that and hit the bell button so you get notified when I have videos coming out in the future. So you'll notice that this footage is, um, most of my footage is all uh, stabilized. You'll see my helmet moving around, but the, the camera itself stays in one spot. And this type of stabilization doesn't hurt the video quality. Whereas on a GoPro or any other camera that I know of anyway, um, uses a digital stabilization. So basically what it does is it zooms in on the video and it stabilizes it digitally. So you, you lose a little bit of your quality because it's zoomed in. But on this camera, which is the Sony FDR X3000, it has a lens inside that basically works like a gimbal. It, it has a floating lens. So what you're seeing is the lens floating as I jar around, which uh, is a really nice look, I think. I think it, it takes just enough of the vibration and enough of the jilting away so that it gives a nice smooth look. But um, it doesn't take too much from the video. Let me know what you guys think about that. I haven't really decided yet. And in the future, I probably will have another GoPro. But I want to know what you guys think about the stabilization. I know that it takes a lot of the speed away from the video. But I think so far that's been an okay sacrifice considering the watchability. I mean, that's, that's the main thing for me when I'm watching a video is I like to be able to actually watch it without getting dizzy or getting jarred around. I know that a lot of people like the realism of you know, non-stabilized cameras, but in real life you wouldn't get so dizzy looking at that thing. I mean, it's it does look kind of realistic, but it also gives you this weird dizzying effect. So in real life you have more of a field of view and you're not getting jarred around like the camera looks like you are.
Anyways guys, that does it for today. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I'll catch you on the next ride. See ya.